What's going on, Converse fans? Back again with my 12th shoe review. And yes, I'm aware these aren't Converse, but I wanted to do a review on them anyways because I think they're really cool. And I wanted to share these with you guys and just let you know they exist and what's going on. Like I said in my last video, these are the vans I ordered through Journeys. I can't remember how much I paid for them. I believe they're still on the website now. I ordered these probably around three months ago too. Around the time I got the other pair. Because I saw them both on their website the same night I was shopping around. Journey's website. And this is my second pair of Vans. My first pair I haven't done a review on yet, but I will. Because I think that's a solid shoe too. I actually skate a lot in them. And I deadlift in them too. It's a solid shoe. So this is the second exclusive pair you can get through Journeys only. I don't know if you can get them in their store. You know, guys, with like COVID and everything. I haven't really been to the mall in a long time. So I don't know if these are actually on the shelves there. But it, they are available on their website. They're just your normal Vans skate. Skate highs. But just like the Chuck Taylors, that's what makes them exclusive through Journeys is mainly the camel foxing. And now this doesn't have a toe cap like Chuck Taylor does, but what Vans does have is this cool little stripe here. We all know that. And that is what's camo. So it's pretty similar to the Chuck, just different in those ways. And I've also noticed, too, that the shade of the camo on these are a little darker than the ones that are on the Chuck Taylors. So if you like a darker camouflage, maybe get these instead. Um, same thing with the Chuck Taylors. They're a smidgen too big, but not really enough to complain about. It, it doesn't make it to the point where I dislike them. Or don't want to wear them. I'm just letting you guys know. I'm giving you an upfront and honest review of all my shoes. So if you want them, still order in your size. Your normal true to size. Just letting you know they're going to be just like a, a teeny tiny little big. But not really enough to notice. Um, so most of the shoe is blacked out. Black stitching, they did the black eyelets. They did come with black laces, but they were a little long. And I like shorter laces, so I put in these. I ordered these off of, uh... These are off-whites shoelaces. Replaceable off-whites. I thought they were kind of cool to put them on there. I got them on my Jordan 5s, and I really like them. I'll do a review on those eventually, too. Uh, 45 inch laces. I went with the black grenade lace lock again. I really love those. I think it's a cool look on my shoes. You don't really see anyone rocking that. So besides the camo, most of the shoe is flat black. But as you see on their tongue, get that into the sun. There we go. It's like an olive green. Vans off the wall. So you got a little green on the tongue. I thought that was a nice touch. Yeah, I'll show you the back of the shoe. Vans off the wall. Again, a green rubber stamp. That's the box they came in, you know, your normal Vans box. These came pretty quick too. 
Somebody even put like a thank you card in it too, so I kind of appreciated that. You know, that little extra effort always goes a long way. I've worn these out a few times. I haven't skated in them. But they are very comfortable. I mean, if you like Vans, I kind of like that they're a little, a little big. Because I find it, uh, I don't know, just something re relaxing about wearing them when they're just like a, a smidgen bigger than true to size. And one more thing about these that's a little better than the Chuck Taylor exclusive is these also come with a extra pair of shoelaces. I guess I should have brought them up here to show you guys. But they come with a spare set of camouflage shoelaces too, unlike the Chuck Taylors. Now I've seen other people online with these put the camo shoelaces in. I kept them. I have like the shoe box with all sorts of different lace locks and spare shoelaces. And I threw them in there for now. I might put them on another shoe another day. Maybe my black monochrome chucks. But as cool as they are, I felt like it was almost too much camouflage. Because I've seen other people's pictures online of them putting them in the shoe. And for me it was just too much camo. I think this is a nice break between like all this black because you got enough camo going on here and then the stripe. I felt it was just too busy for me. And I wanted to order a couple sets of these off-whites. I got these from a website called lacelabs.com. And you can get all the off-white colors on there. They got like white, green, orange, red. If you like the off-white shoelaces that say the word shoelace at the end. They're only $5 a pair. And I mean, I like them. I just felt like they could have shipped them a little more professional. They, they kind of stuffed them all into like a really tight cardboard envelope and... I was a little upset, honestly, when they showed up. I never really replied to them and told them, but, I mean, they're all creased and bent, and, you know, I had to take them out of the package and straighten them back out. You know, no one wants creased up shoelaces. I thought that was kind of rude, but maybe you can find them somewhere else. I don't know if I'm going to order from them again because they did that. But I'm just letting you know. You know, if, if you want a pair for five bucks, that's where you can go and get them. Uh, as you see at the inside, it's got like that black leather to it. It's pretty nice. It's a great shoe. See that? All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'm trying to keep them a little shorter for you guys. Short to the point. Okay. You guys have a good day.